Today, I want to share with you just how simple it is to run Selenium from Test Complete 10.5 in six simple steps. Check it out. Step one is you want to identify the Selenium test that you want to run. So I have a simple Selenium project that I'm using Java and JUnit. And I have two tests to find. I have a check page name and a check if Java exists test. So I want to run these tests within test complete. So step two is you want to create a new project within test complete. So I'm just going to go file new, a new project. I'm just going to call this run Selenium scripts. So step three is you want to add Selenium to your project. So I'm going to right click on the run Selenium scripts and I'm going to select add and then new item. And under the create project item, I'm going to select Selenium or unit test. And I'm just going to rename this to run Selenium. So the fourth step is to select what Selenium framework you are using. Test Complete supports a bunch of different frameworks for Selenium. There's JUnit, NUnit, Python, PHP Unit, Ruby Test, and TestNG. I'm using Java with JUnit. So I'm going to right click on my Run Selenium Project item, select Add, and select New Item. And under Create Project Item, I have a few options. So I'm just going to scroll down and select JUnit because my tests use JUnit. So I'm just going to name this My Selenium Test. Now, depending on what framework you selected, these options will be different. I selected Java with JUnit, so there's a few options I need to select. The first one is either specify the class path directly or use Maven Project. I'm actually using Maven in my project. So all I need to do is point to the POM file of my simple Selenium Java project. So from the drop down, I'm just going to navigate to my simple project and to my POM file. And once that POM file is selected, you have two other options. You can either run all test or run the following test. So my project has two tests. It has check page name and check if Java exists. Notice they're under a package name called comtesttalks.testcomplete. So I can point to individual tests and run them from test complete, or I can tell test complete to run all tests. So if I want to run a specific test, I can click on add and just add the path to the test that I want to run. Uh, for this example, however, I want to run all tests. So I'm just going to select run all test. So for step five, once you configure a project, step six is to run your test. So I'm just going to right click on my Selenium test, click run my Selenium test. So it's navigating to my test page. And basically it's just going to check the page name and also it's going to select Java from the drop down and verify that the value enabled exists. Awesome, both my tests passed. And if I right click on my log items and view the results, you can expand the results and you can actually view the actual Maven output. So if you click on additional info, you'll see the actual uh, results of your tests as if you were running them from within Eclipse. It tells you the exact, it shows you the console output. And so notice it, it did check for if Java is enabled and it found it. And it also checked that the page name was Selenium Web Driver Validation and both tests passed. Awesome. And how easy was that? In just six simple steps, I was able to run Selenium from within Test Complete and view the results within Test Complete. I think that's cool and I hope it helps.